Now, the killing of the gang leader has a consequence of fear amongst residents that full-blown gang war will erupt. Now, uh, Rashid Stahi was killed while seated in his car just outside his family home in uh, a well-known road in Salt River, London Road. Now, his twin brother, Rashad, was killed in the same street 23 years ago. Let's cross now to my colleague, Aisha Ismail, uh, who has made her way to Salt River. Now, Aisha, um, uh, a far too familiar scene for many residents there yesterday with uh, police tape cordoning off this crime scene where the second Stachy brother uh, was now uh, gunned down. Give us a sense of the atmosphere on that road at 8 o'clock this morning in Cape Town. Well, yes, I'm standing here in London Road where Rashid Stahi was gunned down yesterday morning. And what's interesting this morning, it's, there's an uneasy calm hanging over London Road. You see people walking down the street, looking, literally looking over their shoulders, people walking with their heads down, not even wanting to make eye contact with, with strangers in the road. So, yes, and this is also exactly the same road where um, Rashid Stahi, Rashid's brother, was... Um, um, was killed, um, lynched actually, in um, 23 years ago. But I'm also joined this morning by Pastor Ivan Waldeck, a long-standing um, friend of Rashid Stahi. He was telling me earlier that he's been walking this road with Rashid Stahi for a very, very long time. And in fact, he was actually meant to have lunch with Rashid Stahi yesterday when he got the news that his friend had been shot here in London. Road. So I'm, I'm joined here now by Pastor Waldeck, who's going to talk to me. You were telling me earlier that you've known Rashid Stahi for a very long time. You were very good friends. You were his pastor. And you were going to have lunch with him yesterday when you got the news. Yes, uh, it is a really a, a, a shocking, sad day for us. And we are about to, now at this time, the family, Stachy family, is in shock. They are in pain and bereavement, and they are still planning the funeral arrangements in the next couple of days. So, as you just asked me, we shouldn't have lunch yesterday because he arrived from Dubai with his wife, a long overdue holiday which they celebrated. And to welcome back lunch, myself and another friend, and Rasid, uh, we were on our way to uh, Maestro's yesterday. And you then went to the hospital when you got the news that he was um, shot? Yeah, straight away to Grotesky Hospital and uh, there I found his wife and uh, his daughter and they were really in pain and, and, and in shock. Pastor, you've been working on the Cape Flats for a very long time, mediating with the various gangs and trying to bring about peace. When is this gang violence going to end? Well, that was uh, Rashid's dream, and uh, we continually work together, giving our time, giving our lives to bring uh, gangsters together, because they are uh, that is where we came from. And uh, asking that question, so when it's gonna end? It is entirely up to all the leaders, and uh, the appeal to them is still today. I believe it's Rashid's dream uh, that they sooner or later realizing that they are killing themselves and killing a generation killing innocent people fathers and and sons uncles husbands of our own communities and uh, i don't know when it's gonna end uh, my appeal is to government an appeal to church leaders uh, imams and all the other leaders in the community to really sit together and work out a amicable solution now, Pastor, the fact that these people, um, we were told, came on foot and assassinated Rashid Stahi, it was a brazen attack. Yeah, it's a brazen attack, uh, uh, recklessly. Uh, they've attacked him, as we all know by now, and uh, really, I don't know what to say uh, on that uh, reckless attack. I, I'm really devastated. Who do you think is behind it? No comment on that. I cannot even try because, according to me, Rashid Stahi, as I've worked with him in more than 20 years, after he changed his life and become a reborn Christian, walk with me, pastoring him, uh, uh, talking at schools, uh, motivational talks with kids, and tell them not to be involved with gangsterism or drugs, I don't know that he has an enemy. All was his friends, whether whatever gang he belonged to, Rashid 
after he changed his life, he want to bring them all together. According to me, there's no such a thing that he have an enemy. Now people are, people, are, people are now fearing of revenge attacks. Well, i only going to tell you that what the Rashid would love to have now, no revenge attacks. Because it's not going to bring anyone back like Rashid or any other person who died in gang warfare. A, a revenge attack is only continuing and escalating and losing lives in our communities. So, yeah, I want to plead that no one have to take revenge on behalf of Rasit because that will not his heart or his outlook on life. Thank you so much for your time, Pastor Waldeck. So, Marcel, there you heard from Pastor Ivan Waldeck, who was a long-standing friend of Rashid Stahi, that they are preparing to bury Rashid. They're still busy with funeral arrangements, and we will be keeping you updated with those events. Aisha, before I let you go, a very different picture of the man, Rashid Stahi, being painted uh, uh, by his pastor. But then this is where, what we've repeatedly heard when we hear of killings of high-profile members or, uh, uh, according to the pastor, former members of, of gangs uh, in communities where, yes, uh, gangsters run the place, illegal activities taking place. But they're also seen as uh, upstanding members of the community that in some uh, uh, positions put, help to put food on the table. That is indeed so. When you'll hear people um, on, across the Cape Flats talking about how they are actually able to go to some gang leaders and, and ask them to pay their children's school fees. They go to the gang leaders to ask them for clothes. They ask them to, to, to put food on the table. And so obviously, you know, in certain communities, they look up to gang leaders for not only for protection, but also they seen as taking the place of social services. Mm. Concerning indeed, thank you so much. Aisha Ishmael, my colleague, coming to us live there from London Road in Salt River.